Well, we're going to get reaction now from a representative of the Church of Scientology. Tommy Davis is a spokesman for the church, and he joins us live now from our Los Angeles bureau. Mr. Davis, thanks for getting up early. Uh, the, the Church of Scientology refers to Anonymous as a group of cyber terrorists. They say they're just simply protesting the church and that they're harmless. Uh, you know, John, the reality on it is, is that uh, in our case, we're dealing with things like you know, 96 uh, death threats, bomb threats, uh, acts of um, vandalism, you know, these kinds of things that, that are very destructive and, 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 and very harmful. And we have to take um, measures on our part to ensure the protection of our facilities and our parishioners and, and their physical well-being as a general rule. When you're talking about this group and, and, ref and, and referring, them to, referring to them as cyber terrorists, you know, we're, we're, these are the kind of people who, you know, put together imagery intended to cause epileptic seizures and then hacking into the Epilepsy Foundation's website and throwing it up there, trying to cause people to, to have epileptic seizures. And they do these kinds of things for laughs, now, and they now, say this themselves. You are leveling these accusations at this group. The FBI, which is looking into it, says it has found nothing to connect this group anonymous with what you're talking about or death threats against members uh, of the church. The FBI at this point says it has no reason to believe that charges would be leveled against this group. Um, well, I disagree and that's definitely not the case. I mean, you talk to local law enforcement, you talk to the Justice Department, there are definitely ongoing investigations. Mm -hmm. But, you know, really the issue is here is, is that these things happen, we report them to law enforcement, it's really in the hands of law enforcement to prosecute them for their hate crimes and we leave it to them for that. From our standpoint, we're carrying on. I mean, the, the worldwide interest in Scientology has, has never been higher. I mean, Scientology has grown more in the last five years than the last five decades combined. You have uh, 7,700 churches, missions, and groups, and, uh, and an enormous amount of interest in Scientology and, and what we do. So we're interested in putting true information out there. People can find out for themselves what it is, mm -hmm. which is really which is really what they ought to be doing well, is, well, is you can walk into a church, you can see what Scientology is, you can go online at you know, Scientology.org and, and see for yourself and make your own decisions about what Scientology I is well, about and on any subject people should really find out for themselves what it is rather than listening to cy cyber gossip or hate mongering all right, which is well, really well, the kind of thing on, that's going on. On that point, help us to understand uh, something about the church and this is what this group Anonymous is protesting. They, they, they claim that the church separates family members and there, there is this um, practice of disconnection where if you're a member of the Church of Scientology to the best of my understanding here on, on, on this issue because I'm not a member and I don't fully understand it but if you're a member of the sure. Church of Scientology and someone in your family or a friend or your spouse is skeptical or critical of the Church of Scientology you are supposed to disconnect yourself from that person and, and Jenna Miscavige Hill who is a nurse uh, a nurse, a niece rather, of the church's leader, David Miscavige, says that happened to her, which is the reason she left the church a couple of years ago, and she now has a website bringing together former members of the Church of Scientology to talk about issues like this. Well, I mean, first of all, this is a perfect example of how the internet um, turn, turns things and twists things. Th there's no such thing as, 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 as disconnection as you're characterizing it, and, and certainly, mm. you have to understand, well, what is disconnection? Scientology is a, a new religion. You have the majority of Scientologists in the world, they're first generation, mm -hmm. so their family members aren't going to be Scientologists and this kind of thing. And, and Scientology absolutely mandates, and it's really part of, uh, of, of the code of being a Scientologist to, to respect the religious right. beliefs of others. So certainly, well, someone what, what, who's a Scientologist is going to respect their family members' beliefs. Mm -hmm. and, well, what, and, what is, what and, is and we consider then? family to be a, a, a building block of, of, of any society. So. A anything that's characterized as disconnection or this kind of thing, it, it's, just, right. it's just not true. There, there isn't well, any such policy that, in the church that, that's dictating who people should or should not be in communication with. You know, it's, it, it just doesn't happen. People also talk about secrecy surrounding the, the Church of Scientology, and, and there are reports that only 10% of church members know the real origin story of the church, and, and they say that would be like if 90% of the members of the Catholic Church were not allowed to read the book of Genesis. Is that true? Absolutely not. I mean, it, it's so untrue. It, it couldn't be further from the truth. And I, again, I, I'll say it again. I mean, the best thing for people to do is they really have to find out for themselves. They can walk into a church of Scientology. There's informational displays that they can they can go through on their own, well, well, see well, videos well, about what Scientology is, here, or, or go to the website Scientology.org. And and there's over 82 videos. I mean, three hours mm -hmm. of content that describes 
what Scientology is, what we believe. You can hear Scientologists talking about their own faith. Right. It, well, well, quickly, it's really help, that, help, that help open us, of an help activity. Help us to understand here, Mr. Davis, what, what is the basic belief of the Church of Scientology? Well, I mean, that could fill the Encyclopedia Britannica in terms of what Scientology is about and what it does. I think the better, the better way for me to answer that question is to say, what can Scientology do? And it, it's something that you apply to your life, and, and it's tools for living and for improving relationships and, and these kinds of things, Be raising because, IQ. Because, as, as you know, there, there, there are some people, and one of them is a, a correspondent for the Village Voice, who says the basic belief system or the basic tenet of the Church of Scientology is to rid the body of space alien parasites, to clear <laughs> oneself. Um, well, John, does that sound silly to you? I, I, I mean, I, it's unrecognizable to me. Uh, here's the thing. There's a lot of people out there talking about what they say Scientology is. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, actually, no, I'll correct that. There's a small amount of people who are talking about what they think Scientology is. They spread it on the Internet, and then other people read it, and they think, oh, that must be what it is, which is why I say people really should just come into the church and see for themselves, find out what it is, and then they can make their own decisions. Read a book by R. Ron Hubbard. Um, you know, pick up a book like Scientology, Fundamentals of Thought, and, and you can see what Scientology is, what our beliefs are, and, and, and what, what we practice and why, and how people can use Scientology in their lives. That's the whole point, is, okay. is, is how, how you can apply it to improve your life. Wh whether you want to call yourself a Scientologist or not, that, that's a personal decision. But people should go online, go to Scientology.org, check out the videos, uh, get a book, read it, mm -hmm. think for yourself, make your own decisions, and, and, uh, and, and then people can make judgments based on that. But the kind of things you're talking about, they're unrecognizable to me. Tommy Davis, spokesperson for the Church of Scientology this morning from Los Angeles. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Absolutely. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Alina? No